In this short Golang and Fine tutorial, I'll show you how to compile or build a Fine project to an APK file for Android. It's a very basic Hello World Golang project. The purpose of the video is just to show how to compile it to install on Android phone. So the video will have three parts. In the first part, I will install Android SDK and NDK dependencies. Then I'll create a basic Golang Fine project and then I'll compile it. So let's start with installing of Android SDK. I use Linux Mint, an Ubuntu based distribution, and so to install Android SDK I can just execute sudo apt install Android SDK. It'll take some time. And while it's installing Android SDK, we can download Android NDK. So let's Google for it. I need this link to the developers developerandroid.com. Downloads page. Then, in the right sidebar, I'm choosing old unsupported versions because the last stable version won't work with the Golang and Fine framework. So, unsupported NDK downloads. And I want to download the 21st version for Linux. The downloading will take some time, 4 minutes. Now let's unpack downloaded archive. It, it doesn't matter where you will unpack it. OK. And then in bash rc file I have to add a new environment variable. So I will use a vim editor. You can use any editor you want to edit bash rc file. And somewhere here, for example, let's add Android NDK home variable and the value of this variable is a path to our Android NDK R21E uh, directory. Tilde means the home directory then Android NDK R21E. Let's restart our bash rc file. Then let's install Golang itself if it is not installed on your machine. I am using a clean installation of Linux Mint right now, so I have to install Go programming language. So Go dev docs install and go. Again, I have to download a package. Then I want to open the download folder. And uh, documentation suggests to use these two commands. I have to use sudo and 
and uh, to unpack archive I have to use this command. Okay, and now we have to add this line to our bashrc file again. And uh, after that, I have to restart my machine or just re-log in, log out and then log in again to the machine, to the system. Or we can execute the exec shell command that will restart our shell. So let's check the version of the Go. Now let's install fine framework prerequisites. Let's find it. Fine. Getting started, introduction, and uh, I use Ubuntu based Linux distribution, so I have to, to use this command. Okay, it's done, and now let's create a new Golang project. Let's create a new folder, for example, Golang Hello World. Let's open terminal here and then go mod init hello world. Then let's install fine framework. Go and get fine io slash fine version 2. And let's copy and paste the hello world example to a new go file. Hello world go. Okay. Then let's execute the tidy command. Go mod tidy. This command will download all dependencies that we used in our hello world go file. And now we can test our app. Go run hello world. It will take some time. Okay. We got our compiled program hello world. And now I want to compile it to an APK file. To do it, I have to get the fine console command. And uh, right now there is no one. So I have to log out and uh, log into the system again to restart shell or just execute exec shell command. Okay. In my home directory, I have go folder. And um, now let's get the command line find tools. Go get dash u find io find cmd find. And we can see that in the go directory we got the bin directory that has the fine executable file. But we still cannot use it in the shell. So to fix this, we have to add the go bin directory to our path environment variable. Again, let's edit our bash rc file somewhere here. 
we have to extend our path environment variable path colon then tilde it's a home directory and then go bin let's restart bash rc and now we have the fine command it's a fine output now i want and i have to create a picture to my app i need any image editor file new image and with a custom size let's say it'll be 48 and 48 pixels something like this doesn't matter what and save as i need our project and the file name will be icon with a capital i save close it okay and now let's execute this command find package dash os os will be android app id and the app id actually it should be a reversed url of our apps web page so let's say it will be com example hello world it will take some time again it's done and uh, we can see our hello world apk file it will work on your android device i have tested many times and so if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching